Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't see this as an inconvenience at all. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to DocWob TV, uh, another episode on the run-up to VMXD and Fox Hill 24, August bank holiday weekend if you haven't got your tickets. I'd buy them if I was you because it's selling out. Um, it's going to be busy, the weather's going to be good as well, we've got a long-term weather forecast so we should be good. So this episode we're going to show you the Kawasaki's um, that we've built and redone for um, Tommy and this year Sean Lepanovich. Um, so I'll run you through what we've done different and what we're up to. So the bike that we built for Sean Lepanovich, and if you've never heard of Sean Lepanovich, he's a really, he was a good, good privateer guy in the States, never stopped racing. Um, Doug Dubak recommended him to us. We spoke to Mike Brown. Mike Brown's like, oh yeah, he's the boy. So he's world champion from the world vet thing they have at Glen Helen, the proper one. Um, they, and so he's, he's a player. He's got his family are behind him 100%. He's coming in early to test. He's a super nice kid. I've heard nothing but good things about him. So I've been speaking to him on the phone. So we're excited for Sean. I think Sean's going to be a player. And if Brownie says he's good, Brownie don't want anybody on the team who's going to drag him down. So I think he's going to be a player. So this is the 2001 KX250 we built for Mike Brown last year. Uh, we've got Mike's second bike as a spare. So if anything goes wrong, we are good to go. Uh, we have been testing with Tommy with this bike and we've changed a few bits and pieces and so now with the full pro circuit motor, pro circuit pipe, with the, with the good fuel, she's ripping now. Um, Tommy was enamored with it. It was, it ran really well. If you watch some of Tommy's videos, there's nothing wrong with this at all. So Mike had issues last year. It was a gearing problem in the end. Front sprocket was the wrong size. Uh, we went to a 13, which moved the power up the rev range. So he's higher in the revs where he needs to be. That seems to have fixed a lot of the issues. Um, this is always the problem with us. We don't have time to test before the race. We went and tried the bike at, with Mike the day before, seemed fine until he was on the track with other guys and all of a sudden he was struggling. So uh, we'll take it on the chin. We didn't have time to test. We've done some testing. We should go this year with these bikes. Much ready, much ready. Fucking listen, much more prepared. Let's just say that. Engineers over here. Where's my coffee anyway? No. So usual thing, riders give us bar bend, grip preference. So we've got a 996 Renthal twin wall bar, Renthal half, half soft waffle grip, seems to be the grip of choice for most guys. Uh, we've got his weight, but he is actually going to bring, he's bought one of these bikes in the States and had it all set up. I did set him up with Mitch to do the cylinder the same. So he's been, he's been riding at home on the same bike. So he's going to bring his forks and shock with him, whether we end up using these or his own, it's neither here nor there, we don't care. But the forks we've got in this are a KYB kit fork with a 23 and a half mil offset. Got the vented front plate, uh, got the Han hubs, uh, DID lightweight rims, big brakes, seam welded rads, full pro circuit motor, hence some clutch in there. Um, got the foot pegs, which are slightly five mil further back, which is, helps, you, helps you get your weight back. Lowered subframe, got the, the braced up swing arm. Um, this thing is the real deal. It's a proper tool. So the bike's much the same. Um, Frank from Evo MX reads on the graphics. Susie, Frank. Um, a few changes, got a few sponsor changes, got Sintel Oil, which is nice, if I'm honest. I'm not just saying it, but stuff does seem really, really good. We've got CMS NL, and we now use those for all our OEM parts. Uh, it's a Dutch company. They got more gear than you can shake a stick at. So, um, they're the two changes really on it. Uh, we got a different fuel sponsor, so I'm not going to go into that. Uh, Michelin Starcross 6s as always, rental chains, rental sprockets, all the best stuff. Um, I figure if we use the best stuff, then we got less chance of having any problems at the races.
So there's these two Kawasaki's. We've also got the two for Tommy Searle. We've redone them. Uh, we've changed up cylinders. We've got Tom Morgan cylinder on the one. We've been testing. Tommy's got the race bike down there with John Gifford as mechanic down at the Dirt Store Kawasaki team. He's been down at Mel's riding it a little bit. We've got the spare bike, so we've gone through the spare bike. Uh, we're not going to give you the full reveal because that's Tommy's deal to do on his channel. So, um, but the bike's very nearly done. A um, few sponsor changes, you know, Tommy's tires. He's running Dunlops and, you know, we got a few bits and pieces. We just got to confirm with his personal sponsors to make sure that we've got them all right. But we've got plenty of time. Tommy's bike's pretty much finished. I think his race bike's somewhere near from what John tells me. Um, I don't know if he's going to go testing again, but he's going to come out with us the Wednesday before, I'm sure. So this is Tommy's bike for VMX DM Fox Hill. The bike he raced last year, he raced one bike on the Saturday, one bike on the Sunday. So uh, this was his Saturday race bike, believe it or not, and he changed bikes up. So he's he's got the race bike. JG's got the bike over there. This is just a spare at the moment. He's going to rub some bits off this. I'm sure the pipe are going to come off it. So we've got um, a JSV cone pipe and silencer. Really cool settings. That's the same setting as a factory Yander Group KX250 SR back in the day. So that works. Um, Tom's got the Tom Morgan cylinder on his race bike. So uh, it's good to go. We're just going to refresh it, make sure she's good to go if he needs it. And uh, I do want to say good to go again. And uh, so we'll have to just confirm all Tommy's sponsors, like I said before. But you can see the colour scheme starting to come together now, but uh, the big reveal's up to Tommy to show. Um, so we've got to get some graphics on it when he sends them from backyard. And then I've got to spend half a day um, trying not to stab myself cutting the front number plate to look like a vented cycle one. Come and see us. Tommy's up for it. And a happy Tommy is a good Tommy. So that's it for the Yamahas in the last episode. This episode was about Kawasaki's. There's four of those. There's five Yamahas. Uh, the next one, I'll show you the only Honda we built for this year's event. Uh, it's still pretty trick. But it's Honda 500. I mean, how trick can it be? All right. So uh, like and subscribe, apparently. And um, I'll show you the Honda next episode.